that. You know what most people are ignoring? And I don't believe it's sexism. You're completely right here. Carrie started her career in politics. Well, as mm. well, a Tory press yes. officer. Yes. She's always been close to people of power and influence. Yes. So I think it's, it's perfectly warranted to say that she does have the ability to pull those strings. I think the fact that she's married to Boris now amplifies it. And she's definitely overstepped her boundaries. Um, and it's very clear, like, she's, you know, gotten uh, her f- close friends positions of influence as um, but, over the last... But in down two the years in, in down the street. Street. Ladies, is, is this political slut shaming? Slut shaming. Well, That's so nice. It's a great phrase. Uh, I'm yes. not quite sure what it really means. But but look, I mean, I think there are two sides to this because has Carrie faced some sexism when she's called Princess Nut Nut, Carrie Antoinette? Yes, I don't think <laughs> I don't think people would parody a male partner in the way that they have uh, they have Carrie Simmons. But actually, ultimately, I think the real reason why she's facing so much flack and, you know, Samantha Cameron or other, you know, female spouses of prime ministers haven't is because Carrie is a political operator. She wasn't just a Tory press officer. She was director of communications for the Conservative Party at 30 years old. Now, you have to be a a, a pretty sharp, a a pretty quick mover to do a job like that. There's a lot of... Westminster is about who you know. And well, yeah, if you look at she, her body I mean, language, she doesn't. She knew the right person. She was straight on him. She does.